It's me. These are for you. Thanks. Have a nice day. Just the way Emily would have liked it. Hey, how goes? Everything all right? Yeah, it went went good, fine. Thanks for coming. We should get started. It doesn't change anything. Of course it doesn't, Jack. You don't even know what you're apologising for. Yes, it's because I haven't been giving you the attention yet. It's more than that. You think this is about getting yourself out of trouble. It's about not understanding what being married's all about. Well, it seems to have a lot to do with arguing all the time. I'm sorry, but this is stupid. No, it's not stupid. You don't get it, do you? I feel like I can't rely on you anymore. You can rely on me. That's why I want you to come home and we'll work it out and get all that lives. I don't know if we can just work things out anymore. What are you talking about? Check our marriage is in trouble. I don't know how we're going to get around this. What do you say about the person who knew you better than you know yourself? I could talk about Emily until the sun goes out. Her gorgeous laugh. The soft, warm scent of her hair. The way that she burned the toast every morning without fail. <laughs> We'll never forget your courage, Em. The way you embraced your next big adventure, as you put it, as if it was just life. You lived every day to its fullest. And none of us will ever be the same for having known you. I couldn't believe it the other day when you said, everything's going to be okay. And I asked, yeah. You just took me by the hand and smiled and said, because I know it will. I always knew that one day, joy and sadness would become the same thing. I just want you to know that this ache in my heart is not my heart breaking. It's bursting with love and pride and memories. Maybe we didn't think things through properly. We just got engaged on the spur of the moment. But you love that. You're excited. Yeah, but it doesn't mean it was the best thing to do. We got married the same way. We just rushed into it all caught up. It doesn't make it wrong either. Yeah, I'm just trying to be honest. It hasn't exactly been easy for us. Right from the start, things haven't gone our way. That's what I said when you got lost in the bush. But then you came back to me. So... As, as far as I can see it, we're meant to be together. Fate and what's meant to be isn't going to solve our problems, Jack. It's all lovely and romantic to think about it, but the reality is what's been happening since we got married. You haven't been there for me, not in the way that I need you to be. It's not all your fault. Like, to be honest, I don't think either of us was prepared for the reality of marriage. We both had different expectations. 
I love you. Okay, that's that's the reality. I want to be with you for the rest of my I life. I love you too, but it takes more than love to get through a marriage. You know, maybe if we would have thought about that, we would have known. But uh... so, what are you saying? That you want to break up? Like you divorce? I don't know what I'm saying. All I know is what used to feel right. It just doesn't feel right anymore. We just we need to think about this. I need time. I love you, okay? And I want to be with you. I don't need to think about yeah, that. Yeah, Jack, I do. Please, just. Before you get the chance to look twice, she's gone with all of her questions. since you got back from the checkup. You sure everything went all right? Yeah, it's all good. Oh, so young and the love of his life gone. Keep Robbie and Tash face a similar prospect. Hey, hey, Maura is doing all she can. You know, he may not actually go to jail. Yeah, I know, love. It's just the thought of that little family being torn apart. It breaks my heart. It just my you could do something to cheer them up, doesn't it? Jack and Martha, you're not wrong. Um, love, actually, we were talking about Robbie and Tash. What's that, mate? What, what's up with Jack and Martha? Jack. Jack. Hey. I know I've just told me about you and Martha. Are you okay? I don't know. I'm still trying to get my head around it. Oh, what's the story, mate? Have you spoken to today? She thinks they'll be rushing to get him married. You've had a disagreement and she's upset, that's all. you got to do is go back and talk it through and listen to each other and you'll get past this. Maybe she's right, Dad. Maybe we weren't prepared for what living together and being married really means. Jack, um, sharing a life with somebody is, is a huge challenge, mate. And you can't expect it to go smoothly all the time, but you can't also run for the hills at the first sign of trouble. This is just like a wake-up call for you, so you don't take it for granted. Okay, fair enough, you got married pretty quick, but so what? That doesn't mean it can't work and you should run away from it. So I said to her, I can't help but feel as though she's already halfway out the door. Jack, it is never too late. Not if you're willing to do whatever it takes. And I am. Of course I am. It's Martha that I'm worried about. The way she's talking. It's a station already made up the mind. <laughs>